you know, this was, again, this was all junkyard and like forest. So I've been slowly plowing this up to make it so we can plant stuff here in like next year. And so this is what you find. You find old car parts and old toys, you know, as we're, as we're working the soil. My name is Brad Fessmeyer. Um, I'm an artist, a farmer, amateur sawyer, um, artistic director at River's Edge Arts. For some reason, I have to make art. You know, for a long time, I was making you know, 20 or 30 paintings a year. It was a lot. No, so it's probably maybe it's more like 15 paintings a year. Um, but it's still like a, an unknown drive for some reason, and I have to. I have to make work somehow. My my world around me really is what kind of inspires me. I really like the pastoral country landscapes of New England, the stone walls, the forests, you know, all those things I I identify with somehow. You know, growing up in a blue collar household, you know, my grandfather being a carpenter, my dad being kind of a jack of all trades, um, you know, and always putting forth a really strong work ethic. Um, those things have really informed my work. So. I think, for, you know, my grandfather, you know, working with his hand, my dad working with his hands, you know, I want to work with my hands somehow, and this is kind of how I manifest that as well. As I get older, my interests have really kind of widened. Like, when I was in my 20s, I was very focused on art, and like, so I went to work, I worked at River Edge in my, 20, in my late 20s, you know, went to work, did that art thing, and then came home and made art, and that's what was my whole life, which is kind of a, a narrow focus about art, where now I feel like, um, you know, I met my partner and wife who's a farmer, and so we do, I'm very interested in agriculture and farming now. Down the farm, and we're gonna be working on this area where the trees are, taking those down, turning that into cultivatable land. Um, and then we'll be putting up two more greenhouses down the hill from these two high tunnels as well. Um, so that's the plan kind of for the home farm. We'll do a bunch of annual stuff here, but then the real idea is to do as much perennial, New England hardy perennials as possible. Um, and have this be just a beautiful little farm. And we have to be flower farmers, but you know, correlated to that variation in the food systems and agriculture just in general. And then likewise, just you know, I've really, over the last five years, really gotten into um, forestry and forest and kind of making lumber and the idea of kind of closing that, that waste system of trees falling down and we just burning them or chipping them or whatever and like turning that into to lumber. So I'm really interested, you know, just being out in the forest, um, you know, my thinking as an artist, my working as an artist, then informs all the work that we get to do, uh, you know, as a team at River's Edge and how I come to think about it. Just about every day I get to work, you know, I, you know, I want to be, um, creating a better world that, you know, that we all live in. And I think um, taking that mindset is how I express myself and try and make a, you know, a better, a better informed, better political uh, society, especially with the, the younger generation. I think the importance lies, again, I don't think you have to be a creative person necessarily to need that creative self-expression in your life. Um, but I do think probably all people are creative in their own way. Um, so I think the importance of like cultivating that is giving people the right outlets uh, in order to either like recenter themselves, um, express themselves in, in healthy in healthy ways that you know help them be you know better people for themselves, for their friends, for their families, and or for greater society. Um, uh, what was the question again? <laughs> So, you know, I think the more we foster that, the more we foster that, especially in young people. Um, that's why I love River's Edge so much and why I like the work that we do. If we can foster that creativity and give them, you know, the skills and the outlet in order to do that, they become much better citizens of the world. You know, you know my biggest goal is not for the kids we work with to be better artists, it's for them to be better people. You get the motorcycle out too. <laughs> <laughs>